Hello, this is Zero Day 567. This is the last episode of the week for Legend of Zelda Orphan of Time, and we're in the Shadow Temple still. Shadow Temple still! As soon as you enter this next room, do this. Don't even wait. Place the oars wind. Do it. I don't care. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Do it a thousand times if you have to. Just make sure you have the oars wind set at the door. Now we got Feyor's Wind, we can actually check out the room. Look at those hands! Oh shoot, it's Floor Masters. They can't see us at first. When they do! Take him out quick, move the door. In case at any point in time you mess up, you can always return right there. Nice try! I was just warning about you guys! You guys are trying to pull a new trick on me. How dare you! No, wait. Rock is my life. How dare you! And fling! Small key, yay! Let's get a run. Thing. Don't have to. This room, I believe, hides a sculpture in it. Yes, it does. Same as the other room. And if I believe... Do you believe? I believe we're done with the sculpture hunting here. Yes! Yes, yes, yes! This room! Pick up! Throw into a hole! Miss! For those of you that don't care about your bomb reserves... Yes, I just did that. One explodes with almost nothing. One exp explodes with a bunch of rupees. And that was all that was in here. Actually, two explode with a bunch of rupees, but... Sculpturally get! We got one door left. Run away. Run in the door. Uh-oh. Wooden walls. What happens if I wait long enough? And do this! Okay, that's good. Yeah! Five rupees for that chest. And the last chest, we all know what's inside. It's gold. It's blue. We already know what's inside. I mean, it's gonna stick out like a sore thumb and it's a 
Yeah, it's a boss key. And now... Poof across the room! Just to mess with him a little bit, I just jumped across the room. This next part... I think you can use a regular arrow for. I prefer using a fire arrow, but... See all those, um, bombs over there? Yeah. Aloha! Bombs away! Boom! are going to need arrows for the boss. Fire arrows. You aren't going to want to use many other things than the normal kind of stuff because you are going to need them. I'm going to swap my arrows now. Really? No fairy here? If you need hearts, though, there's hearts around. Well, I didn't get a fairy this dungeon, but you know what? I think we'll be fine. Oh, we still got room to go through. Oh my. This room's a lot of fun, isn't it? Have your shoes equipped, have your boots equipped, trust me, and yeah, he'll walk right into the hole for you. It's boss time! Phantom Shadow Beast, Bungo Bungo. Ow. Busted! Easily done! Easier than idol in... Super Mario 64. Hand, hand, eye! Hand, hand, eye! Hand, hand, eye! I can say he has a lot of hand-eye coordination. Warm day in the, strong, in the dungeon, so... Myself. Hey, look! 
It's a heart container, as if we didn't know. You got a heart container. Your maximum life energy is increased by one heart. Your life energy will be totally filled. Ta-da! Cutscene time! Chamber of the Sages. I beg and dare guess who this sage is. It's kind of mentioned. The boy with the noble Zelda's Ocarina, as I expected, you have come. I am Impa, one of the Sheikah. I am Princess Zelda's caretaker. I am also the sage who guards the Shadow Temple. We Sheikah have served the royalty of Hyrule for generation to generation as attendants. However, on that day, seven years ago, Gandorf suddenly attacked and Hyrule Castle surrendered after a short time. Gandorf's target was one of the keys to the sacred realm, the hidden treasure of the royal family, the Orcarina of Time. My duty bound me to take Zelda out of Gandorf's reach. When last I saw you, as we made your art escape from the castle, you were just a kid. Now I see that you have become a fine hero. Well, she believes in us! There is nothing to worry about. The princess is safe now. Soon, you'll meet Princess Zelda face to face, and she'll explain everything. That is, when we, the six wise ones, seal up the evil king and return peace to Hyrule. I have to stay here. You go to Princess Zelda's side and protect her on my behalf. Now I put my power, which would be helpful to you, into this medallion. And... You receive the Shadow Medallion! Impo awakens as a sage and adds her power to yours! Please look out for the princess. Aye aye. So yeah, we only have about... Ooh, eight minutes, so I'll give a shot. Now with the new boots on, trying to beat our foreign friend. I don't get by. Oh, don't even. You know I'm gonna kick your butt if I have to. Back off! One shot, and it's dead. I'll be honest, the bigger on sword does lose a little bit of use in the next dungeon. At a certain point. But, you'll see what I mean. But, I mean, if it's the first time on sword, just makes it easier. Ow, you stupid! Jerk. So that thing is, you have to be quick. And a little bit of loose traction does make it a little easier for me, but at the same time makes it a little harder. I did four seconds slower. I'm just doing terrible with him today. I mean, I don't really want to do the hookshot trick if I don't have to, because that, because with a GameCube controller, the hookshot is just not that friendly here, as we found out two episodes ago.
I mean, it's not that hard to get a time that's fast enough. It's not. It shouldn't be. I mean, I've done it before. I've done it many times. I don't know why I'm doing terrible today. Well, this is not one of those hard to get ones. That's why I wait so long. And before you think Nehru's love is gonna help you, no. You'll still take the hit, you just won't take the damage. I think the trick to these draws is to keep up with him and not. Like, if you see him about to throw, watch his hand. <laughs> Dang it, you stupid! I couldn't see her in the corner! I have to line up a shot. God, I think, I think I just nailed it. The time of this race was one minute exactly. You're back, young man. Was the present I gave to you fun and useful? I just, I uh, just get three pieces down. Nice. That was a hot one! There's only one piece of heart left in this world. The carpenters did say they have something for us. Maybe it's... So I'm trying to remember the last heart piece, guys. I mean, I know it's somewhere, and I know we can get it now. We can get anything almost now! Oh, by the way, did I cleanse Kakariko yet? Yep. That cleansed it. So yeah, we're really going through areas like cake. Oh, something I should mention. Are you guys mentioning regions when he clears them? Market and Gan... We called Market and Gans Tower the same area, as well as Zelda's Castle. Death Mountain we can have an area. Kakriko we can have an area. Lost Woods and Kokiru County is the same area. Zora's Domains County has its own. Lake Helia counts as its own. And we're counting these three here all as one. So if we don't mention a region for a certain reason, you now know what we're calling regions or not. I wanted to make that clarification. It's just for our personal sake. Because when I made the map, because I have a list of them, and when I put them on the list, I put the, a region for them, so I know I'll be in approximately that region when I reach them. Epina, there's a bridge next to you! Jeez! I love you, girl, but you... You miss! We gotta talk after. We gotta talk about how you're doing this. That was not too smart there, girl. Now, I think... And I say think... That this is the one that we're missing. If I'm wrong, I will look it up between episodes. There's also someone we can stop in and see if we don't. By the way, we're going to Spirit Temple with 19 hearts. I don't care. Next week's gonna be big. Because we are at the end of the game, folks. We're almost there. Nay yourself and get. Oh, you. Hey, 
You guys think this weapon is the best one of all? If you do, <laughs> he's still getting used to us, folks. Well, she. Hey, I heard you saved my men. When they returned, we built this bridge. Look at this. Isn't it a fine bridge? Hey, may the wimpy carpenters... But when they all got together, they got the job done. Being a bridge over the valley is a simple task for four carpenters. In Gerudo society, those who have great skill in horseback riding and archery are well respected. How about trying horseback archery at the Gerudo fortress, which you already did? If you have a horse, a Gerudo from the fortress will set up your challenge. Already done that. When Nabru was a lone wolf thief, she never stole from the weak, but now Nabru's gang of thieves stands for quality. She claims to be a chival chivalrous robber, but no way. I'm sorry, I had to say it in my mind. The leader of the gang of thieves is Nabru. She is experimenting in brainwashing many people at the ruins in the desert. I don't believe that. This guy! Remember him? You can race him if you want. It'll be a race, I forget to where, but no matter how fast you go, he will always beat you. Even if you have a game shark and you warp right to the destination, he'll beat you every time. You can set a person you can set a personal best though. But I'm getting the episode here and I'm gonna find that heart piece between episodes, and then guess what happens after? We'll record it, we'll go on, and we'll finish the game. We'll probably hit Spear Temple next week. No. I forgot the Prelude of Light. Darn it! Okay, I have Brain Derp. I'm melting! It's the seventh episode of the week. I'm done. You're done. We're all done with recording for this week. I'm in the episode here. Actually, no, it's eight episodes because Batman ends this week. So this will go full time after that. So I'm getting the episode here, and I'll see you on the next one, which will be recorded next week. Hope you have fun. See you on the next one.